It's been a long road to recovery since then. Downtown Santa Cruz was leveled by the Loma Prieta earthquake. And as the city began to rebuild, so did the spirit of the community. Action News reporter Phil Gomez shows us what it's like today. The building that we are in had collapsed on the buildings on either side of it and two people. Uh, I got lifted about two feet in the air and I landed and I saw redwood trees bending down and touching the ground. As, as, as people who lived there, lived here at the time knew, a lot of the downtown collapsed. 30 years ago, Mother Nature took approximately 15 seconds to ravage downtown Santa Cruz. It's taken more than 30 years to rebuild. I never thought that we would get all of these retailers to stabilize themselves uh, and to come back. Retired Santa Cruz Redevelopment Director Seal Cirillo was the driving force in the reconstruction for maintaining the historical feel of downtown. She pushed for creating businesses that would cater to family entertainment such as the Cinema 9 Theater. Vision Santa Cruz, made up of city leaders and community members, was also created. We are a cultural center. We have the museum, we have the theaters, we have Columba, and, and now the Rio DNA company. Come here for your entertainment in the evening. So this is and your it, stamp, huh? Yeah, I, I'd like to say, I'd like to think that, that it, it is a cultural entertainment social because come here for your coffee. Cirillo believes downtown came into its own in 1995. Yet 24 years later, the rebuilding is still underway. The last remnant of the quake was the gaping hole where Bookshop Santa Cruz and the coffee roasting company once stood. It's currently under construction to create housing and retail units. Bookshop Santa Cruz owner Neil Coonerty supports the new development. Predict, they had to predict um, what the retail is going to be like five years out when they rebuilt. And the wide sidewalks, sidewalk cafes are a very important part. It's a real pedestrian downtown, um, and people have really enjoyed being here. Swenson Builders helped reconstruct 14 buildings in downtown Santa Cruz after the quake. The Park Pacific development will be their 15th. Can this new building withstand a major earthquake? You know, I don't know the answer to that, but you know, there's, there's one is the magnitude and another one's the duration. So the duration's actually really important. I think that the longer it goes, it's really becomes, it can do a lot of damage. Some people believe this space should remain empty, an informal memorial to remember the 1989 earthquake, while others believe it's time to move forward. So I have a little bit of a mixed feeling, but, um, you know, we have to we have to move forward. And I think I think in Santa Cruz, for instance, they did a spectacular job. The last of those buildings is yeah. still is still going up. Construction on Park Pacific is anticipated to be completed in March of 2020. The cost for the construction is thirty five million dollars. Once construction is complete, a plaque dedicated to Sean McCormick and Robin Ortiz, the two people who lost their lives at the coffee roasting company during the quake, will be put in place. In Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8.